Hello everybody, welcome back to the layout. This video will be the final video about uh, the modeling of the lift bridge. So what remains to be done is uh, painting and uh, weathering and then installing it uh, on the layout. As you can see here, I have given the entire bridge already a coat of uh, matte black uh, spray paint. So everything is covered in, uh, in black paint and the same holds for uh, the two plateaus uh, on uh, each of the, the towers and also the middle part of the bridge. So the next uh, thing uh, that I will be doing is um, weather the bridge um, and the plan is to give it um, the appearance of um, a rusty uh, bridge so I will be uh, adding uh, a lot of uh, rust effects and I will show uh, you uh, how I will be doing that to achieve uh, the rust effect on the bridge I will be using hairspray and uh, pigment powders so I will spray on uh, the hairspray and then in first instance we'll use uh, a light pigment light rust and let it dry. Uh, once that is dried it actually looks quite bright but uh, then I can brush parts of it off and I can brush on some darker pigments like the ones uh, shown here and after that uh, you get a really uh, realistic look of a heavily uh, rusted bridge and so I, I tried it out on the center segment here as you can see and if I zoom in, you can see that uh, you, you get uh, the texture of uh, rust, you get a rust color, but it's uh, not that bright. You can see uh, how it has been toned down. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this result. It's, uh, it's really heavily rusted. Uh, that's also what I want um, but all in all I think uh, quite a nice uh, effect obviously I, I could have uh, put on a lot less and uh, not give it such a rusty uh, appearance but uh, in this case I think um, I, I particularly wanted to go for uh, heavy rust And these are the plateaus that are also given uh, the rust effect and um, which also have been toned down uh, by the darker pigments. So let me try and zoom in. Uh, I think you can see the effect uh, quite nicely. So I think, um, yeah, this turned out uh, very good as well. And this is the result of only sprinkling on uh, the light rust uh, pigment on the, on the entire bridge and it's just to show you how bright it actually turns out so let me zoom in on some part here for example again you can see uh, very nicely uh, how the texture comes out so uh, that's really uh, really very nice uh, but so long it's really a lot of uh, pigment powder on the bridge and I will do the same as I did on uh, on the rest I'll brush parts of it off and brush on some darker pigments to tone it down. So I've removed um, all of the light rust pigment powder that was uh, loose on the bridge. Um, actually I didn't brush it off but I, I took a hair dryer and uh, blew off uh, everything that was uh, loose. And now I have started uh, toning the bridge down and I've started with a pigment called City Dark Rust and it's this um, greenish grayish color and so what I'm doing is I'm just putting a bit on the on the brush and then essentially so if I go to this spot here essentially dabbing on a bit uh, to achieve the effect that I'm after so by dabbing it on instead of brushing it on uh, you keep the texture 
on the bridge so that's the texture from the light rust uh, pigments that is kept on the bridge and that is what gives it a, a, a realistic rusty uh, appearance so that's uh, what I'm after alright so this is uh, the entire bridge toned down uh, I've used various uh, pigments darker pigments so I'll just give you uh, an overall impression of uh, what it looks like as you can see there are still uh, a couple of spots where it is uh, the rust color is uh, quite dominant um, so I did that on purpose but as you can see um, um, I put on uh, quite a bit of uh, darker pigments as well so let me turn it around just show you from this side and yeah I think uh, this turned out uh, really well so just to show you as you can see um, it really gives a, a big mess But uh, that's okay, it's easy to clean up. So I uh, started uh, dry brushing um, the two plateaus that uh, will be sitting on top of uh, the towers. And um, for that I used um, a metallic uh, paint. And just to show you the effect, um, I did uh, the plateau on the right and uh, I think you can see uh, the difference. So this has now gotten a much more metallic uh, look. So the feel of uh, that this is being uh, made from uh, metal or steel and I dry brushed also a bit on uh, on the fence and um, yeah I think this uh, gives it quite a nice effect and I think you can quite clearly see um, the difference with this one so I will be doing this one as well uh, and I think um, yeah um, by dry brushing it uh, like this, it um, it also removes a sort of the the plastic feel uh, that it still has uh, now. All right, so I finished uh, dry brushing uh, with the metallic paint on uh, both of the platforms, and as you can see, I also uh, glued uh, the see-through grate in in place as well on on either side. Uh, next to that I also did a little bit of dry brushing with the metallic paint on uh, these uh, wheels here as well as on the leather going up to the platforms so let's see if I can get it to focus so it's just a very just a little bit of dry brushing here as well And so next are the concrete uh, counterweights, which I've painted in a concrete color, followed by a uh, thin black wash. And then after that, I've toned it further down uh, using pigment powders, amongst others, uh, rust, a rust color, because um, there are these, these metal pipes uh, on the top here, which would start to rust and leave a trace of rust at the top and then down the, the block so that's what I've uh, modeled here all right and so this is the uh, entire bridge uh, ensembled and put together so the lifting mechanism with all the wheels and the electromotors and then the steel cables going down 
attached to the center part of the bridge as well as the counterweight inside uh, the tower so all of that has been uh, assembled now and so show you this side as well so now it's uh, just a few uh, other bits and pieces that uh, I still need to finish off and then uh, the entire bridge is uh, is finished so to uh, finish off the scene uh, with the bridge uh, I had to do a little bit of uh, ballasting so these two small pieces uh, of ballasting which I've done so I, it's glued in place already um, but I, I need to uh, still weather it uh, as you can see over here I built a, a, a small ramp so this will be overpass um, which I will be covering with uh, wood um, and then I stopped the balancing here because um, I do not know yet what I will be doing uh, over here so I'm thinking that in the end I will be building um, like a station with a platform uh, but that will come uh, at a later stage. All right, so this is the overpass uh, glued in place. I've made this of uh, thin strips of balsa wood. So let me zoom in so you can see um, the strips. And I will now stain this and further weather it, uh, same as the ballast. And as you can see, I've also glued um, this in place. Uh, this has been uh, already painted. So this will be uh, a small uh, parking space for, um, let's say, maintenance personnel that need to do work on, uh, on the bridge. So this will also have to be weathered. So I will be uh, doing the weathering and then install the bridge and then finish off uh, the entire scene. All right, so finally I've got everything uh, finished on uh, this uh, bridge project. So let's have a look. Um, I showed you the uh, overpass of wood. And as you can see, I have now uh, weathered it. I painted some uh, lines on the sides and in the middle. Um, I also um, put a little bit of grass uh, here and there uh, in place. And then if we go on this side here, um, I made a small structure of wood, you can see here. So to give uh, maintenance uh, personal uh, space to get access uh, properly to this ladder here. And then I put a fence uh, around that, so the fence is also weathered and given uh, quite a bit of rust. Then here on this level I put two lights. Um, obviously now uh, the bridge is closed, uh, they're showing red, but they uh, change to green once the bridge is open. And then on this side, uh, there's also a fence. And same as on the other side, I put also a small uh, parking space uh, on the side here so that maintenance personnel can go up here. So then, as you can see, uh, there's a person uh, about to climb on the ladder. And we've got some personal, some maintenance personnel working uh, on this uh, electro motor and the three of them are discussing what the problem might be and how to solve it so we got a little scene there as well so that's uh, the entire bridge uh, was quite a, a big project for me it took quite a bit of time but uh, I think the end result just looks absolutely great. I'm really thrilled with uh, with this result.
really happy. So I'm going to finish the project here. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.